Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some MG mod, which is made by Dr. Teaspoon. We are playing Legends of Dota. I always feel like I have to show the game mode, but we're not really playing MG mod. We're just using it to play Legends of Dota. So we're playing Legends of Dota, and specifically we're playing the All Strength Ogre Magi. That's... look, that's it. There's nothing else to it. I just thought it was funny that Ogre Magi is just the strongest boy now. And we're going to make him even stronger and we're going to have a good time with that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, is a fantastic all-in-one platform for all of your online store and website needs. Genuinely great service. Use it. Myself would recommend you do so too. If you need a website, build it with Squarespace. There's a link down in the description and let's get into the game. Here we are, we got ourselves Ogre Magi. Now the idea today is to maximize our strength so we can maximize dumb luck. This of course gives us mana and mana regeneration per strength, but also gives us a 1% chance to multicast for every 20 strength. Now to use this, we're just gonna need to be really fucking strong. That's the plan. But also, we need multicast and something to multicast. So that's why I have multicast and fire blast. Because if I don't have multicast and fire blast, I don't actually have anything I can multicast, right? So to really see this in action, we're gonna need that. But then we're gonna maximize our strength. We have attribute shift strength gain, which we can use this to turn all of our unnecessary agility into strength, the superior attribute. I mean, who needs agility anyway, right? That's some wiener shit. No, no, no. We are gonna maximize our strength at the cost of everything else. We'll have infinite strength and zero agility and zero intelligence. And that's my plan. But uh, that's why we have attribute shift strength gain. Then we have fleshy. This is just 60% strength multiplier, which is really good. We have decay which is a bunch of extra strength, particularly with Aghanim Scepter. It's also nice because it's just a flat amount, so it works well with um, the... Uh... Ooh, hello. Are we just gonna get a kill, maybe? Ah, it'll be close. Oh, no, are you outrunning us? Way outrunning us. Okay, then. Uh, but, you know, like, it's just gonna be a, a nice way of building up some additional strength for the uh, Flesh Golem, so that's good. And then we have a double edge, which may seem a little out of place, but don't forget the Aghanim shard for double edge makes it so that our um, strength, uh, that we get a buff, sorry, that we get a buff when we cast it that increases our strength by 15% per stack. So up to 75% strength from that, which is by far the most we can get. And yes, we don't have fleshy, which it's maybe thematically not the best because I know people we are expecting flesh heap in all likelihood But honestly flesh heap is not that much strength like it's not a bad ability. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good ability, but Purely on a like strength level. It's not actually that much strength So that's why we don't have flesh heap, right? We are maximizing how much strength we have and that also means of course we managed to <laughs> Reconfigure our talents a little bit, which is my favorite part of the build. Uh, so if you have a look at this, we have uh, strength and strength and then some more strength and just a tad little bit more strength and then just a bit more strength <laughs> at the high end. Uh, you know, just kind of like making sure that the strength is well taken care of. One hit. Nice. Very good. Ooh, there's a lot of zombies. That's maybe not ideal. Yeah, we gotta waddle on out of there. Goodbye, friend. Oh, one hit. Double edge. Couldn't get it out. That is a creep stun right there. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of creep abilities. <laughs> I like it. That's very funny. Oh, no. I gotta go. I guess we gotta disengage here. I mean, honestly, we're just a bit too low on HP. All right, back we go. I will get myself... Do I get power treads? I think so. I think I will get power treads because they do just give strength, uh, which is good. That's what we're looking for. And then after that, we do need Aghanim Scepter. So we'll work on that. We do need Aghanim Shard because of... Otherwise, a double edge doesn't actually give strength. And then Heart of Tarask because that's a lot of strength. And yeah, 
look, strength brain, okay? That's what that's what this is. We have become uh, <laughs> We've just become one big muscle. <laughs> that's us. So we will see if we can make this work. We'll see what we can do with it. I mean, honestly, I'm very excited for it. And uh yeah. So that's the plan for today. Hello there. I'm not entirely sure when I'm uploading this video, but I will now start saying this in every video, so just kind of get used to it. Uh, we're launching the new YouTube channel on Thursday, next Thursday, the 4th of March. Yes, very excited. Um, what am I expecting from you? Well, how can you help me with this? This is a project that I've spent quite a lot of money on, that I've spent the last six months working on, that I'm very excited. 4th of May! Fuck! May, not March. Oh my God. Okay, it's not launching in the past. <laughs> We're not traveling back in time. It's not that advanced a project. We didn't manage to make the time travel work, so we will still have to launch in May. Um, but we will launch on the 4th of May. Uh, and again, if we manage to get time travel working, we might change that. Um, but yes, I've spent a lot of time, money, effort, working on this. I'm very excited for it. Um, I think the videos are really cool and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, what am I expecting of you? How can you help? Right? What's your role in this? I honestly just need you to go watch the video once it releases. I'll have links obviously, right? Don't worry, the links aren't available yet, so you're not missing anything, but I will have links for you. You will find them. It won't be a problem. Um, if you want, I'm gonna go ahead and, and say it right now. You can then search for stories of Dota on YouTube. That's also what you can do, right? That's gonna be the name. But there's nothing there yet, so don't do not do that now, okay? That would be nice. But, yeah. And after, uh, after you know, you watch it, like maybe leave a YouTube comment. Maybe give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe share it with somebody. Really, all I need to make this a success is I just need views on the video. I know that sounds maybe a bit too simple, but that's really it. I just need the bad boy to get views. I think you all are really gonna enjoy the video. I think you'll really have some fun with it. But I, I, that's that's what we're looking for. We just need to get some views. Alright, cool. Gonna multicast. Oh yes, we can't multicast any non-ogre abilities, just to be clear. Alright, just to kind of manage your expectations. You can only multicast ogre stuff. Okay, I'm gonna preview it on stream. Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me stuff like that right now. But anyway, so that's that's just it. Next week, okay? I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for it. We're starting with the patch video, and then afterwards, Techies, Juggernaut, and Io. Although that's gonna be a three-month process. First month, we'll have two videos, though. So we're gonna go um, patch, and then two-week break, and then Techies, and then uh, Juggernaut at the start of June. Okay, cool. Grab this. Uh, I'm just farming up. I mean, the nice thing is we have a little bit of health and a little bit of damage. So we can just chill. That's that's cute. Oh, ow. Ow. That's brutal. What do you have? Eldritch Explosion? What? Shortly after dying, a burst of magic damage based on the max health of the imp is dealt to all enemies in a small area. That's that new... Oh, that's the warlock shard thing. Right? Like, the warlock imps that he spawns now. <gasps> okay, weird. Very strange, but cool. No, I like it. It's maybe a little overpowered, I'm not gonna lie, but it's cool, so I appreciate it. It's kind of a fun little thing. No, don't get that forehead shit, five head shit out of here. We don't have... <laughs> we have no brain power. How dare you imply that we're using our brains. <laughs> we are entirely muscles here, okay? Nothing else, and I don't want to hear anything else. Alright. Ah, come here. Double edge. Yeah, well, that's fine. We did some damage. So, guys, do we get 15 strength or 16 strength? What do you think? I mean, I think it's gonna be a difficult decision to make. 
<laughs> Should I get 15 just to like make everybody? Oh my god, everybody wants 15. All right. Well, we, I guess we're gonna get 15 strength. Oh no, Aghanim Scepter gives me 10 agility. Oh, that's this. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna consume it, then it doesn't give stats anymore. We'll get there eventually. We'll consume the Aghanim Scepter and then we're not gonna have any stats from it anymore. Sorry, I do need the Aghanim Scepter. That's just gonna, gonna have to happen here. Because the 10 strength steel is just way too good. Alright, how much strength do we have right now? 151. That's pretty good already. <laughs> Let's just do some pushing here, right? Take down this building. We're a big boy. We're a very big, big boy. So with 150 strength, um, we get 7.5% multicast chance, right? So like, enough, I guess? It's a little bit. Also cool, we got a kill. Hello. I am chasing. Yeah? Oh no. Yeah, there's gonna be another, another dude, of course. Yeah, I... I would have been fine, I think, but against two of them, that's going to be difficult. I feel like I need some magic resistance to deal with this Undying. But before I do that, heart. We need a heart. That's just it. We got to maximize our strength. We got to maximize our health region. We're going to get a heart. <clears throat> Alright, level this up. Thank you very much. And then, uh, Vitality Booster, Reva, Heart, Aghanim's Shard. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm not sure why I keep coming back into the stop lane, by the way. I should maybe go somewhere else, but this is okay too, right? We can just chill here. So, next up, I think I level up Double Edge, because this is going to be really useful. It's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I mean, with our strength, this is 120% of our strength eventually. And uh, <laughs> we have a tad, we have a tad little bit. Let me just put it that way. Grab myself a tier one token, thank you. That way I get myself a neutral item as well. Here's my Reaver. <gasps> and I mean, I have infinite mana now too. It definitely helps. That all of our strength is also intelligence in a way. <clears throat> yeah, this mult this LOD we're playing right now does not have the multicast that can multicast anything. Because by default, Ogre Magi's multicast can only multicast specifically Ogre Magi abilities. Which I know is a little bit odd. Like, but it's just, I don't know, it almost feels more difficult to implement... You know, the fact that it can only multicast Ogre Magi abilities, as opposed to, like, let's just letting it multicast stuff, but... It's Valve, who knows why they do stuff the way they do do them. Oh dear. Hello! Oh, there's another one. Okay, transform. Double edge, and I mean, that's it? Yeah. That's just four heroes, there's no living that. What do you have? You have Lightning, ha Lightning Hands, Gemini Attack, Glacier. Split shot and grow. <laughs> that one feels slightly out of place. Yeah, yeah, that's the lightning power right there. Okay. Maybe I'll go into a different lane for a bit. Let's go bottom. Alright. Hello, creeps. I'm just gonna take you all down. Until I get some more levels. I mean, I need my talents, right? So until I get those, I don't even feel complete yet. Nice. Quick kill though. Give myself more double edge. And... Oh, 400 damage from this now. Very good. We're closing in on this being as strong as I want it to be. We're also closing in on our Aghanim's shard, although we just gotta wait for that. Wait, buff stay over death now? Was that 7.33 or earlier? No, 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 it's just uh, the uh, the flesh golem lasts through death. But it's always been that way. 
There has been, been a few transformer, uh, transform abilities that persist through death. Guys, should we get 18 strength or 20 strength? I think this time, to break the pattern, I'm going to get 20 strength. I think that's just... Gotta make sure that we have this, right? Thank you very much. I'm a bit worried I'm not going to have enough skill points. <laughs> I might not actually level up multicast past the first point. I mean, that's okay. We just care about the stun anyway, right? Because I do want to make sure we get all of our talents. If we don't have those, I mean, what's even the point then? Alright, I think we have enough time to finish up our heart. Oh, I also need to use this. I know, I know, I know. Alright, hello there. There is... A bit of a bit of a dude, bit of a friend who's showing up, being annoying. I mean, you gotta need to do more damage than that, though. <laughs> that's not enough. Oh, that's rough. Okay, hello. Yeah, we transform. One hit, double edge, six hundred. Nice! Level up multicast. There it is. One, two. Oh, that's just a double. No. Okay. Yes. Down you go. Ooh, we're being healed. That's very nice. One hit. It's okay. It's okay. We got him. That's all that matters at the end of the day. And we do have enough money now to get our Aghanim shard. So with that, 15% more strength whenever we cast Double Edge. At least, we can hit multiple, tier multiple heroes with it. And then we get even more strength. Even more stacks. So, what are we buying as our next item then? That's a big question, isn't it? It's an interesting question as well. We could just get another heart, of course. But I feel like I need some magic resistance more than anything. Yeah. Why do I have... Why do I have plus 12 agility? Oh, no! Plus 2 all attributes, but I can't do anything about that. That's just gonna... That's just gonna happen. Alright, multicast. <laughs> no? What am I... What? I didn't multicast at all? <laughs> Man, I really thought that wasn't gonna be an issue anymore. What are the odds for that? I have 260 strength. We get another here. So 263 strength right now. Um, and so that means 13% extra chance. So just two times multicast is an 83%, like 88%. <laughs> and then all of the other. <laughs> okay, so that's a little depressing. That's a little sad. Magic resistance. We could get an eternal shroud that restores mana. Uh, Glimmer cape. We could get a pipe that's better for the team. But the problem with pipe is... Oh my god. I just noticed eternal shroud gives strength. Yep, no, that's it. That's what we're buying. I mean, obviously. Obviously, we're gonna need an eternal shroud. No, primal man. Come back. Good, you're fine, you're fine. Let me just finish up my item really quick. Alright, here's Eternal Shroud. <clears throat> now we have some magic resistance. We may not have armor, but I don't need it. Who needs armor? Some wiener shit. Okay, come here. Or maybe don't. <laughs> Multicast! Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Boom! Dogs One hit of this. And now a hit of this. And now a hit here. Transform. I have 500 strength. <laughs> Come here. No, I can't. I just, just let me. Oh. Alright, there's a dude. 
Alright, that did some damage. Oh, well, I, I got you. I don't know if I can get to you. I'm, I'm gonna try. <laughs> no. But, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It takes him a long time to kill me. Hey, Mega Squaws, thanks for the 50 months. Appreciate it. Before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a fantastic service for building a website. They do a great, great job at making it all very intuitive and very easy. If you want to get started, it's really just super simple. Click templates up here, and then you can either just pick one of them that's available, or you can come up here and choose something that you think fits your needs, or you can even build your own if you want. Let's say we want to build a fitness website. I don't know how that would work. I guess like a fitness studio, like, ah, oh, they are like a gym. There you go. We can do yoga. All right, and you can see they give you all of these cool options available, and you can just pick one that you like. You can preview it. You can explore it. You can preview it in uh, tablet mode. You can preview it in mobile mode. And uh, all of it just updates automatically. Isn't that great? The best part about Squarespace is not only is it good, but it's convenient. And it is really, really convenient. On top of that, it's quite affordable and it comes with lots of additional tools, lots of additional services. We have used Squarespace here to sell 5,000 copies of Disasters. And honestly, uh, that would not have been possible without them. Uh, so, you know, it's got really good tools for handling those kind of solutions as well. If you wanted to run a store, honestly, I wouldn't want to do it without them. Anyway. Go check out Squarespace, there's a link down in the description. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring yet another video. And let's get back into the game. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna need to level up my, my talents now, I think. Like, I'm not gonna go for last level Flash Golem, am I? I don't think so. Is that better than 16 strength? Probably. It's 10 extra percent. How much strength did we have? We had like 500, right? So it's like 50-ish. But it doesn't quite work that way because this also amplifies the strength. It's probably better than 16 strength. Yeah, I'm going to say it's better than that. We're going to need a little bit of armor. So I'm just going to get in a soul cross. Or, wait a second. Should we get blade mail? Because, like, we're only returning, like, 20% damage, but that's 20% damage. And I think now, now, we get ourselves just two more hearts. <clears throat> it gives no strength. Well, I don't think there are any armor items that give strength. Like, does armor build into anything that gives strength? Not really. So, yeah, we just need to get a little bit of armor. And this is gonna be okay. I mean, if we really wanted to have a lot of fun, we would get Crimson Guard. Is Crimson Guard allowed? Am I allowed to get Crimson Guard? In case you don't know, Crimson Guard right now blocks 50% of, of the caster's strength. <laughs> I think I gotta. It's not strength, but it is... Just very appropriate. It just feels thematically on point. So we're gonna get that. It, I guess it does give a little bit of armor as well. But uh, with that, I mean, if we have 500 strength again, then we are gonna be blocking like... 250 damage per hit. <laughs> so good luck getting through that. Good luck dealing with our Ogre Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Blade Mail is active. I think I will just transform right away. Double edge. Give myself another 40 strength. Here's a stun. Three, four, perfect. Oh no. Ah! Yeah. 
I mean, how often did this Techies attack me? <laughs> this Techies just sat there swinging at me. See, this is where we need the Crimson uh, Crimson Guard. If I had Crimson Guard, that Techies could sit there literally all day and would never kill me. So let's just pick up that bad boy. <clears throat> One of the big problems we have are the little zombies that are running around, though. Those are gonna be a little annoying to deal with. I need more hearts. Well, hearts are expensive, my friends. Have you ever tried buying a heart? That's... I mean, that costs at least three kidneys. So, I'm just saying... It's not that, it's not that cheap, it's not that easy to just buy a heart, but I'm working on it. What are you? You belong to the Enchantress. Oh, hello Enchantress. Oh no. Alright. Here's a stun for you. I'm walking up your little, little pillar thing. <laughs> Nice stun. Yeah, okay. Double edge. Here's another stun. Double edge again. Four stacks of double edge. Main problem a little bit. I don't do any damage. I mean, I do a little bit of damage, I guess. Like, to say I don't do any damage probably isn't accurate, but... There you go. It just takes a while. It. I need... I need to continuously hit my um, double edge so that I build up those five stacks. But then we do quite a bit of damage. Alright, we have Crimson Guard now. Now we want to wait with that until we have actually gotten Decay going on. Now here's the question. Does this not have an Aghanim Scepter anymore? Strength Steel 8. No, it doesn't doesn't steal 10 strength anymore. Is that how it works now? Has it been nerfed? Because 8 is decidedly more than 4. Okay. I'm going to skip this and we're going to get Flesh, go flesh Golem. <clears throat> Alright. Transform. Do this bad boy. Oh, I want a double edge. Double edge. Crimson Guard! <laughs> you just can't really do damage to us right now. Ah, I'm trying so hard! Double Edge, good. No! Double Edge! Oh! I mean, I, I got him, kind of. I feel like this Blade Mail doesn't do anything. But right now we consume this, and we gotta get ourselves another heart. We just need more strength. I'm I'm hoping we might we we might be able to like bump this up enough to get like a thousand strength. But well, we'll see. <laughs> Ooh. You know a way to get rid of them zombies? Oh, I think the zombies are just gonna be a nightmare. I don't think there's anything we can do about them. Unfortunately. Hello. We'll just have to deal with them. Alright, blade mail. I'm building up strength. Crimson guard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going okay-ish. I mean, we're doing a little bit. We got, we got 600 strength. 649. Alright, double edge in here. 
Oh wow, that was a fat double edge. All right, we had 900 strength. Oh, ah. If only I had that sooner. If only I had the flesh golem a little bit sooner. Was my crimson god ready again? It may have been ready again. That fight took so long. Yeah, we had 20,000 HP right now. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Hmm. The really big problem with this techies is really that it's it's just so so much magic damage. It's tricky. I'm not sure what we can do about that. I mean, I do already have magic resistance. Oh, I should probably get a tier two neutral. Uh, I don't like any of these. Is this better than four armor? No, right? Like these are all worse. This is four armor. I'm sorry, just like four armor when you have 10,000 HP is quite a lot of health. <clears throat> Why not array for stats? Because it's agility. I'm trying to have zero agility, but the game isn't letting me. I wish I didn't have to skill the freaking plus two all attributes thing. If I could just skip that, that would be great, Dota. But Dota forces you to skill it. Which is just a tad bit unfortunate. Okay, did we get rid of Blade Mail in favor of another heart? Or do we do something smarter and buy like a Heaven's Halberd? I mean, Heaven's Halberd would be decidedly better. <laughs> it would just be a way better item choice. Or still, you know, a sword cross. That's also on the table. Hello. Oh no! Come back! Alright, there's a stun. One, two... Why? How am I... Honestly, my multicasts are just a tad little bit cursed, aren't they? Alright, hello there, friend. We'll use this early. So that we have another shot at using it later. I am at 750 strength. No, give me somebody to use double edge on. Oh. Alright, well, I guess we just have to push. Get 18 strength. <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Double edge. Very good. I need to keep building up double edge damage. Double edge! Yes! Come here, come here. There's a kill. We need to do this resurrecting. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, no, no. There we go. That's good. Double edge. Yes! Okay. Nice, we're still... Oh, no! My ultimate ran out. Ah. Now I'm just a weak boy again with a casual 500 strength. What the hell? What's even a point anymore? I... No! No, I was fighting back there. Ugh. And now there's a techies again. Who let this dude in? Oh, I guess we just have to... Oh, nice. Good hook. Wait, is it a good hook? Ugh. I think they got us. I think they got us. Yeah, we do need those last two levels because that's another 60 strength we can get just from those. So that would be good. Um... So what was our maximum earlier? We had like 800 strength. That's a number of... Is that 40% chance from dumb luck? So multicast is at 100%. Turns out that it's just like, actually, the problem is... Here's the problem with this build a little bit. I just don't really have anything worth multicasting. <laughs> like, yes, I have... Nearly 100% multicast chance, or even higher than that, I might actually have 100% multicast chance. But I don't have anything that's actually worth multicasting, so it's just not that impressive, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad. Dagon? I mean, we could get an item. 
But they is taking the best item to multicast. What's the best item to multicast? Hmm. All right, we're coming. Be very afraid. Here we go. Two times again. How do I keep getting two times? All right, more strength, thank you. Double edge. I mean, that did something. All right, here we go. Everybody's invincible. I mean, honestly, the Crimson Guard is great. The Crimson Guard is like so carrying this. 828 strength. No! Don't blink out! All right, good, 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 good. 884. Killer, 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 killer. Yes. Oh my god. 876. <laughs> yes. There's a stun. Good. I can I can reapply this. 895. Oh, now we ran out. But that was pretty good. Nearly 900 strength from that. Oh, I'm hexed. Okay, Crimson Guard to block them zombies. Haha! -ha! Big value place, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, we're a little bit in an awkward spot right now, aren't we? Yeah, that techies is having a great time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Let me move! Oh, there's so many zombies, dude. Whoever allowed the zombie apocalypse to happen like this? Oh, that's so close, but the heal up. Techie's just suddenly back to full HP. Okay, friends, what do we buy? Have we killed the Tormentor? No, should we? Is that even worth it? Is that worth the trouble? <laughs> What's our last item? I mean, it should maybe be something that's worth multicasting. I just don't know what that is. Like, what is worth multicasting? Heck seems like the obvious answer. Hmm. I forget a harpoon. Blink dagger. Oh my god. Obviously. How did I forget about this? I don't think we can multicast this, but that's okay. <laughs> this I just need to cast. I don't need to multicast it. It is 150% um, of our strength as damage. If I get to just build up 800 strength, 900 strength, and then blink in with it, I should do quite a bit of quite a bit of hurt. All right, I have this uh, attached primal beast, so I guess it's nice. Oh, there's a situation. I'm making my way down there, friend. I'm coming. The new UI good? Yes, it is good. Good job, Dr. Teesman. I like the new UI. I think it is it is much, much better, much more usable. Alright, coming in, coming in. And transform. That's fine, we're fine so far. Just let me let me Okay, it's fine. Everybody's everybody's protected. We've got our kill. Double edge, multicast. Alright, three stacks of double edge. Four stacks of double edge. Here's a stun. Five stacks of double edge. 950 strength. Oh my god, just die. <laughs> this dude is not going down. It's okay, wait, here's my... Here's my most important tool again. Crimson Guard, making us invincible. Invincible-ish. No, bring him here. Let me, let me double-edge something. Oh my god, no, my double-edge is gonna run out! No, it ran out! God damn it. Oh no! These tombstones are the most annoying thing I've seen in my goddamn life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't move. 
Okay. Two big old tombstones. I'm coming in. I gotta get myself a moon shard. Because with the moon shard, I might be able to, uh, you know, get things. Oh, Dr. Teaspoon, since you're here, feature request. More skill points. I'm out of skill points, but I don't have all of my stuff. It would be nice if I could just get some more skill points. I mean, I'm even happy to, like, make some concessions to make that happen, you know? Like, give us uh, more, like, a higher max level or something like that. Alright, come here. There's a multicast for you. But I think we're just dead. Yeah. Techies is too strong. More levels and more skill points per level. I don't mind, just more skill points. Like, I can ramp up the passive or like the experience gain a bit more if we need to now level up to 40 or 50. That's fine. But uh, I, just, I, ju I just would like more skill points because I would like it if I could actually get all of my talents and my fire blast maxed out and all of that. I think they got us, honestly. It's the, it's the tombstones. The tombstones just get us. <clears throat> I will buy a moon shard now. And consume that. Bahami, suggestion. Remove power threads, get E-Blade. What would be the point of E-Blade? I think, not to be disrespectful, but I think there's quite a lot of people out there that don't know that E-Blade doesn't deal damage based on, uh, based on uh, your strength or your primary stat anymore. Now it deals damage based on the opponent's. 20% base attack damage. And like, sure, it would be nice with double damage. I see that point. But like... Eh, I don't know. I don't think that really will make much of a difference there. Because this is uh, these fights are such a grind anyway. Well, we killed the techies. We're gonna resurrect, but that's okay. So I can't move right now. No, don't hex me! No, I'm always hexed! Alright, let's just go and do this again. Oh! We got a hidden. For what it's worth. This this freaking Glacier thing is like really nice. <laughs> it is actually like a super sweet ability. We've really got to experience it in this match. And uh, I didn't appreciate it that much in the patch notes. But like now it's pretty fucking sick, I gotta say. Alright, we had four stacks. Oh, a buyback! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Where did he go? Oh, he's in this. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm trying, it's just very hard to get there. Alright, we got a stun. I'm, I'm, I'm waddling towards the techies. <laughs> Crimson Guard in one second. No, that hex! <gasps> oh my god. That last second hex. Absolutely devastating. I get rid of this. And I just get another heart, right? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, the right item, the good item, is actually invisibility. Because if I go in this, the zombies go away. Or cast range. Because then I can use double edge from further away. But like, invisibility isn't strength. So I don't really like it. It's just, it feels a bit like, it. it's just not strength. It's not strength, 
So I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> Octarine. Octarine doesn't give cast range anymore. And I don't think our problem is actually like cooldowns that much. Okay. There's a hit. Hit this dude. Oh, oh, where are you bringing him? Wait, wait, no. Yeah, well, we're gonna try to hit him. Nice. They may have mega creeps, but we killed the techies. And he's got a 70 second cooldown. So let's go. Hey, that peen guy. Thanks for the seven months. I appreciate it. Don't Boots of Bearing give a little strength? Oh my god. I forgot those existed. <laughs> That's actually a really smart idea. Genuinely forgot that those were even a thing, though. Okay, I'm gonna go. We're gonna try to kill this tombstone. Good. Come here, come here, give me here, give me here. Where is the number two? Oh, there's a number one. All right, let's just get the other tombstone. Eight strength and eight int. That's fine. Int doesn't matter. Int doesn't count. Okay, boots of bearing. Brilliant. Love it. Unfortunately, got a limited number of charges, but I think we can just like buy new boots of bearing, right? Like that's fine. Okay, we're we're being pushed. We're being backdoored. I'm not going back. I'm pushing. We're we're moving forward. We gotta attack. So I can activate this for 1.5 seconds. Oh no, it doesn't have charges anymore. Okay, cool. No charges. Fine. That that's good. That's good. Now we can chase uh, something down a bit more aggressively. No. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage there. Hello. We are here. Yeah, that's very good. I'm not sure if it's really doing that much, to be honest, though. <laughs> Techies is just way too strong. I'm sure they removed the charges from the drums too at some point. Such a useless thing. Yeah, I, that was always a little bit odd when like the fusel blade had charges and drums had charges. That was just a bit of a weird element. Not sure why that existed. My guess, was, my guess is that it was kind of the idea, well, this item is going to be really strong early, but then you run out of charges and then... You know, it's kind of weaker from that point on. And I can see that argument, but ultimately I feel like that's not how it really played out. Right? I think the way it actually played out is that it was just a good item and the charges would just last for the entire game. No! They got us! That was a good game, though. That was a good game, though. I wish neutral items came online a bit, a bit earlier than we could have gotten a giant ring. But even like this, pretty fun. So the all oh, strength ogre. Maybe maybe not that good an idea, to be honest. <laughs> we just don't have any abilities to multicast, but we're really good at doing that. Um, but hey. I mean, to be honest, we could probably lean into the all strength build and just get rid of the multicast. And uh, just do it with Ogre Magi anyway. And just get ourselves like flesh sheep or something. I don't know. I had a good time though. If you had a good time, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.